to be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it's nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against the sea of troubles and by opposing on them to die to sleep no more and by asleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to does the consummation devoutly to be wished to die to sleep to sleep perchance to dream either the rub for in that sleep of death what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil and just give us pause there's the respect that makes calamity of so long life for who would bear the whips and scorns of time the oppressor's wrong the proud man's contumely Pangs of despised love, the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes, when he himself might his quietus make with a bare bodkin. Who would Farrell's bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns? puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others we know not of. This conscience does make cowards of us all. And thus the native hue of resolution is sickly over with the pale cast of thought. And enterprises of great pith and moment with disregard their currents turn awry and lose the name of action.